Hey, hi, Shashi. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, really sorry for the delay. Uh, no problem. No problem. Perfectly fine. So, sir, just uh, although we have communicated in the last two, seven to ten days, I'll just give an intro. So, myself, Dhruv Mehta, I work as an AVP research at Sovereign and giving an introduction about Sovereign. So, Sovereign is India's first like platform where we are trying to cover the growth stories of micro caps, small caps and SMEs. We are trying to impart whatever research, whatever information we have to the retail because small cap, micro cap and SMEs are very less information. So we're just trying to build a platform at like at the small cap, micro cap and SME level. And these are the two co-founders, Aditya sir and Akriti ma'am. Sir, can you please? Sure, 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 sure. So hi, hi, uh, Vishaji, nice uh, meeting you. Uh, so like Drew said, right, uh, Sovereign is India's first uh, filtered information platform for uh, small caps and uh, micro caps. Uh, we have a newspaper also uh, called Sovereign Times, like you have Economic Times, right? We have a newspaper Sovereign Times, which is focused just on uh, small caps and uh, SMEs and micro caps. And we also have other information products like any media platform. So we have like many different other information products as well. Uh, so we started Sovereign almost a year back. Uh, uh, before starting up, I was a uh, uh, vice president at Lenskart. So I was the head of the Lenskart mobile app. Before that, uh, I worked with BCG, Boston Consulting Group. And before that, uh, uh, from an academics perspective, did my MBA from IIM Calcutta and IIT Delhi. So that's like my education. IIM Cal, which batch? IIM Cal 2014 batch. At the 2014, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. 2011, 2010, I like uh, did from, for the PGPS schools. Oh, wow, wow. Okay, okay. you are also from IIM Calcutta. Oh, very yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah. And oh. IIT Bombay, like, uh, that's a 2000. Oh, great, great, great. Yeah. Oh, Sorry, got this it. year, IIT Bombay? Uh, 2000. I, I'm pretty 2000. old. Yeah, I'm an old guy. <laughs> yeah. Got it, got it. Yeah, uh, we, uh, I did, uh, so I graduated in 20, uh, 2012 from IIT Delhi. So, yeah, that's like. That's 2012. Like, okay, very nice, very nice. Yeah. Good to get connected. Very yeah, good. very nice getting connected. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, sir, I'm Akriti. I'm the co-founder and COO at Sovereign. I have around seven years of experience and research between uh, Credit Suisse and Deutsche Bank. And before that, I did my uh, MBA from IIM Calcutta. And I did my engineering from IIT Kharagpur. Great. So you guys met at IIM Cal? Correct, no. correct. We are batchmates at IIM Calcutta. Yeah. Yeah. Achha, achha. That's when you, so probably I should hear you, uh, Kya, you know, startup story before I start, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's like always, you know, like it's a big decision to leave a uh, cushiony, you know, like a job and like start right. on your own, right? Right, right, right. But, Definitely. Yeah, but I think it's very exciting. Yes, that's very exciting. Yeah, definitely. I think great, very interesting experience. Yeah. Um, uh, started like eight, nine months back now. Yeah, first Jan, we started operations for Sovereign. So I think okay. very exciting journey. Um, initially, yeah. of course, we were trying to find a product market fit. I think now yeah. we have the product market fit. Now we are okay. mainly focused on growing the platform um, yeah. and scaling the platform as it and adding different kinds of products. So very interesting journey. Okay. I think um, okay. uh, so I don't know if you you guys want to be like a content only kind of a platform. Or... Yeah. Think think of it as CNBC for small companies. Achha. And very filtered CNBC. So CNBC has all types of information, right? Hmm. Our sort of uh, our objective is that cover important information over people so that they hmm. can make money out of it. They can take okay. smart investment decisions. So let's say let's say a company gets a very large order, right? Hmm. So we would cover that information that this company got hmm. a very large order. Or a company is going for capacity expansion. So we'll cover mm -hmm. that information. So okay. it's very select information, which is actionable and which people can study and see whether they want to action on that information or not. It's sort of help to help people take smart investment decisions. And okay. eventually as you scale up the platform, we would be a proper information provider to India. We provide mm -hmm. all sorts of information to Indians. Uh, okay. uh, for... More from the investment and focusing on the non-large corporates like the niche correct the correct long tails, correct way. correct the long tail okay. see india has and... 6500 companies 500 are large mm -hmm. 6000 are small mm -hmm. 500 mm -hmm. to dunya focus kar rahi hai, 6, mm -hmm. koi nahi kar rahi. so we are mm -hmm. focused on 6000 yeah. mm -hmm. so you're looking for hidden gems huh? <laughs> exactly 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 hidden gems i just wanted to start with this like taking a step back before new jaisa like you you your prolific academic uh, record and you worked in Google and you worked in HSBC and you have you have expert in turning around businesses. So could you just give a like 
past history like how have you like done that so it will be great start so uh, yeah so quickly i mean i can like give my brief right so as i introduced right so 2000 i passed like from id bombay right and uh, i've been through through more of a tech guy right so i've been uh, working on the it side of things largely on the financial sector so i worked for american express for four to five years right and uh, then uh, small stint with mdocs right and then worked for hsbc for almost i think again four to five years right largely on the you know like the green field it uh banking software stacks and stuff like that right so and uh 2009 10 uh, did my mba from iim cal right and I was definitely looking for a change you know like because i think it was like a hard race everyone was in it right and in terms of like opportunity or doing something different is like limited right so did my mba from there and uh, from there was lucky enough to get an opportunity in google so i was with uh, google from uh 2011 till uh, 2017 almost right so there i think the profile so i was basically you know in non it companies doing it and then i joined an it company doing non it right so in google basically i was not on the it side so i was managing their overall customer experience right so uh, that's for their adword products right uh, which is like the main revenue on the rest and say right? so that was like pretty exciting pretty i i would say i mean very enriching experience for me the last like the six years what we did here uh, because i think as an individual i always I, so i mean like tip, you guys are also from like same institute right as they teach on our achar courses right there are two kind of like managers like right? the people who bring change and then there are people managers who are good at running an economy right and either of them don't fit in the other role well right so right. if you put a guy who is you know like wants to bring a change and in a very stable uh, working company he will right. create he walks there and the other way right so i think i strongly put myself in the first category right so in that sense i think my google experience was really good in the sense that i got to work with a customer experience team and that time our overall you know like customer satisfaction and then we had various product surveys and wave surveys and other forms right so we were like really at 27% overall uh, like uh, like uh, satisfaction right and by the time and we had a very small team right and by the time i left we were at 92% i was like heading a global team you know uh, we have more than 1000 folks working for us right uh, and we have created a follow so a very exciting time right so and also for the reason you know like that in google google you get things to do at scale right because right. you will not get the resources right so you have to like really think out of the box in terms of how do you build those scalable solutions change your product change the user experience right and uh, still be able to like satisfy them right so that's what my journey was and probably by that time you know because see once you have crossed a 90% right uh, customer experience as i say i mean if you are getting 100% customer experience you are definitely doing something wrong uh, right. right because you can never be right right so exactly. like you must be like doing like some fudging there right so correct, you, there's correct. only so much you can take it from there correct, so i had two correct. opportunities either within google itself you know like we contemplated of going to mountain view like continuing right and i thought that maybe this is my last opportunity given the age catching up right i mean to do something on my own right and that's pretty much when like the uh, this idea came up right um, and i think the idea came, so i'll come to, i think you guys broadly know what we do but i'll come to that anyway sure. say, right uh but i think like one thing which became like pretty obvious like when i was at google also and i mean probably it was just a spark you know like looking at one of the instances right uh that every 3 years we used to like get macs and other like laptops right high end laptops and we used to you know like just upgrade after 3 years right and on the other hand i mean when we looked at the india market versus the global market there is so much less digital penetration and that still continues to be true unfortunately for india right we still had a rate around 13 to 14 percent of like laptop or pc ownership in india right and digit thanks to like mobiles now the digital penetration has increased but not from the knowledge and the use usage perspective right is more for consumption from the media facebook and other perspective because of that right so and of course i mean india being a very value i mean it's very clear that like the people cannot own that right so that's where like the idea came like what does actually happens with these things right i mean these are like really good assets they have another 7 8 years of life left in them right and on the other hand there's so much of money right having said that i wanted to do something there was another idea i was interested in that was on the fintech uh, space uh, so 
I joined one of like my one of my close friends helped him to scale his uh, fintech for one and a half years, right? And then 2020 is when I started uh, like this, right? Uh, so and this basically I'll come to now like what we do, right? Uh, so first of all in this like I'm like very ably supported by my partner Mr. Mukunda sir, right? Uh, he comes with a very rich background in this particular industry, right? So he has 30 plus years of now experience, you know. And he started his career from likes of HCL, Dell, right? Uh, from the day, days, you know, like uh, you guys would not, won't even know those, right? So in our times, you know, the floppy disk used to be there. So the OS used to be like uploaded. So from those days, you know, he has been on the hardware uh, side of the things, right? So, and I like, of course, like uh, we came across because I was looking for someone in the operation side, right? So we both are like the partners in this, right? And I will now come to, you know, like what we do, right? Anna? So largely what we do is, uh, uh, so in one line, I'll just try to explain first, right? So we call ourselves, you know, like tech driven, full stack, direct to customer company, right? Electronics, refurbished electronics company, right? Anna? And then probably let me just explain on each one of those uh, aspects, right? So uh, tech driven, I'll come back to that, right? Let me start with full stack first, right? Uh, so uh, we operate across the complete reverse supply chain. So the idea is most of our assets, right? So we deal in laptop, desktops, monitors. So that's the area, the IT computing segment, right? So we are very laser sharp focused on that segment only right now, right? Okay. So we procure these assets, right? Uh, either from the corporates or from the recyclers who are in turn procuring it from the corporates, right? So that's like the reverse uh, start of the reverse cycle as such right? Right, right then and then we have a pretty large you know like i'm just sitting in the like the new facility that we are building right now right uh so that's a thirty thousand sft of uh, refurbishing center which we have right and we do an end-to-end -end refurbishing of these particular assets right and then we finally sell it to the end customers right uh and uh, coming to like the second point like because we are direct to customers right so most of our sales, uh, like online first is the mantra, right? Because we always wanted to be tech enabled assets, right? Uh, so, uh, yeah, so we are like, we sell directly to the customers. Most of our customers, like, so we are partners with all the major e-commerce players, right? And I would like, probably we were, um, so, so, but like Amazon, we are like one of the key strategic partners. We have done business with like Flipkart, right? And, uh, you know, and then uh, we have our own website and our web asset, right? Through which we directly reach out to the end customers, right? In terms of customer segmentations and what are the kind of the profiles we cater to, I think initially we thought, you know, we'll be catering to only the low end, like the requirements of the folks, right? But surprisingly, I think the requirements comes across the spectrum, right? So we cater to like, uh, you know, like, uh, working professionals, right? Uh, we cater to SME is a large uh, segment who are buying from us, right? Uh, then of course, student is a very, very large segment for us in terms of like who are uh, taking our like uh, these assets, right? Uh, in terms of like the sales side, yes, I mean, the model is uh, like my online first, right? I mean, I think some of these DNAs comes from being working in the Google that always look for scaled solutions then you know like uh, uh building a brick uh more brick and mortar right? Right. right so yeah i mean that's like the whole uh like of the supply chain or like the life cycle of the what we uh do right um now i think uh, now i'll also come to the tech driven part right so the technology i think we were very clear right from the day one right uh that if we have to do these thing at scale okay right uh, then we will need, uh, like, we will have to, like, use, enable a lot of technology for us to be able to do it at scale, okay? So, see, I mean, one of the challenges of the other, uh, like, analogy, if I have to give you, is that probably, you know, like, one garage can uh, repair, you know, like, three, four different models or refurbish three, four different models of cars, right? But if you have to do, like, 10,000 different models and one lakh cars, right, which have so many different variants of components and stuff like that, right? it's almost becomes impossible unless like, you know, like this, like it's backed by technology, right? And things like that, right? So how does the technology helps us, right? Uh, so I think across the supply chain, we are trying to build like a lot of tech stacks, right? So first of all, for example, all the units that we buy, right? 
uh, we have built like a automated, uh, I would say semi-automated, right? So there's more than 70 point checks, but more than 50 point checks. Now we are uh, able to do on an automated basis, right? And those are like, like a lot of, quite a few things are very innovative in that. For example, we can automatically not only check whether your webcam is working or not, we can even check whether there's a blurriness in it, or, right? So things like that. And we can automatically detect the sound quality by playing the, the things like that, right? So, and those kind of things, what happens is they help us to operate at scale, right? So we have our own, uh, like, you know, like a QC uh, check kind of, and like, uh, you know, like a USB. And we do, we can do a test whether either you have an OS or a hard disk uh, in your laptop or not. Irrespective of that, we can do it at a hardware level, right? Uh, right, so that's one. Second, we are also like trying to build, you know, like a platform where which we can share with our partners or the corporates, right? So that A, we can give them much more, more transparent, not only reporting, but more of their own asset lifecycle management, right? So there's a more of like integrated, uh, like, you know, like value that we can create there, right? Uh, our key strength, if you ask us, right, you know, is or our moat is honestly our refurbishing capability. Because honestly, in the last three years, that's where like me, Mukunda, everyone has been like very uh, laser sharp to uh, focus overall, you know. And uh, I think initially, I mean, we knew it is going to be challenging, right? But before I go go there, I mean, let me just like talk about the key USP from the customer value proposition. You know? yeah. So one thing was very clear that key, that's what we discussed. We were very clear that we, we want to give affordable products, right? But we don't want to build the next nano, okay? okay? So it should not be that you're compromising on the quality, right? When it comes to the end delivery, I mean, and that, you know, like I know like the name in itself, I mean, right? So that's the reason we even chose this name, right? New Jazz, because it, in respect of whatever we were doing in the company, whoever we contribute, like discussing with, we used to keep using that, like the coin is, right? I mean, we have to benchmark it against new, right? And then we reverse engineered our overall operations, right? So our key USP to the customer and which you will find on our website also is that uh, you will get a scratchless unit guarantee, right? Uh, we give it 30 days, uh, no questions asked, return, uh, like, uh, you know, guarantee, right? Every product that we sell to goes with a one year of guarantee, right? Warranty, sorry, right? Okay. So, so basically the idea was you benchmark it against the new, right? So, warranty ka bhi ye tha, humne bolo, ye naya retail mein kitna de raha hai, right? They said one year warranty, we said we'll give one year warranty, right? If it's up to us, we'll probably increase it to one plus one also. Like once these things happen, to show the customer the trust or the faith we have in our products that we are delivering, right? And of course, like our price thing and the fourth USP that we have is a lifetime buyback guarantee, right? Okay. And all of these aspects, if you think about it, right, is all about putting your money where your mouth is, right? It's not about, you know, if I, so at the end of the day, you know, I mean, that's, that, that's true about everybody, right? I mean, if you buy a new car, right? How many of us actually open the door and check under the mat? None of us do, right? But when you go to buy a used car, right, you will check every hook and all corner because the trust Correct. or you know, like that, that thing is not there, right? Correct. So to build, build that, you have to put your, like, you know, like those things at par. That of course, I am backing it with warranty, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, if tomorrow cars 24 say that we buy the cars from me, I'm, I'm giving you two years of warranty, their sales will skyrocket, right? But it's not easy to do that because the kind of the operational complexity and like uh, that in the product that you have to do, right? Enough, is very, very high, right? So that's like the key USP that we have built, that is we have built so that we can create a, a trust in the customer, right? That this is a mainstream product, right? Why we are doing is this is uh, because we want to bring refurbished product as, you know, like as a mainstream product, right? As part of the overall IT landscape, even if you look today, right? I think main like refurbished products or IT assets are only contributing to 4 to 5% of the overall sales that are happening, right? And there's a huge market. And the good thing with us is we are not directly competing with Dell, HP, Lenovo's of the world because our targets and markets is also, I'm not saying like not strictly competing, but I mean, what has come to our knowledge is like people are preferring this to other value. But like, I mean, there's so much of untapped market in India because of affordability, right, that we can cater to them, but with quality, right? Okay. It's a huge and market. That's, it's a huge market, right? I mean, so I mean, that's the reason I think the numbers you guys know, right? I mean, they have been like growing phenomenally. We are constrained by our capability to produce right and how much can we produce 
kind of a thing, right? Okay. So yeah, I mean that's on the USP front, right? Um, operations is where we have focused a lot, okay, right? And um, so in terms of you know like what you will get uh, different, right? So for example, if I have to explain a bit more on the operations side, right? You know, so first there's an automated quality checks that happens. That becomes our starting point, right? Uh, because that will determine which parts you know we have to repair, which we have to like buy new, right? And uh, uh, and also which we have to scrap, what triaging has to happen, right? So most the, once the QC happens, there's a very like we have built our own proprietary rule engine, right? That runs all these permutations and combinations, right? So if you have to basically compare it, uh, I will go a bit technical because it's more on the operation side, right? Uh, right. But I think that's very important because we feel that's what our core strength is. Okay. Right. And so what happens is that if you are making a new product, right? So your process is very streamlined, serialized, right? And your uh, material requirements are also very serialized. You have a bill of material, something which is called in like manufacturing. I also learned all these terms and coinage in the last three years only, right? Uh, so, but yes, you have a bill of material and you have a streamlined process, right? In our case, for each different unit, the bill of material is different and the process flow in itself is different, right? And both these decision points happen basis of rule engine, which is in turn fed by the quality checks, right? And these are the automations, right? We uh, In the first th third month of operations, which we had, I was very clear that we need to have an ERP solution, right? So from the third month itself, we have an open source, we took an ERP, open source ERP, and of course, we have been like continuously developing it as per our requirement per se, because there's no, you know, out of shelf uh, like solutions for that, right? No? But if we don't do that, we cannot scale, right? And the kind of the numbers that we are like able to do on a daily basis when the projections are much higher, right? You need it to be backed by the technology, right? So you have the QC, then we do a rule engine basis that defines the processes, right? Other key feature on which we have like now started working on is, uh, that we have in-house capabilities. So when we talk about refurbishing, correct, I'll give you just guys a sense, like, because I think many of us won't even like know what exactly goes in refurbishing. You know? Largely, I think you can say if there's any component, right? So for example, uh, your display, right? Or your keyboard or your body is broken, right? So these are called, so we have capability to refurbish these components at a component level, for example, let's say you have like keyboard marks on the screen or white patches on the screen or there are lines on the screen, right? We have in-house capability to repair that, right? Uh, if your keyboard is not working, some keys are missing. So we use a lot of technology, right? Repair your displays, we can repair keyboard, we can repair RAM, hard disk, touchpad, body parts, right? Adapters, you name it, pretty much 95, even the motherboards, right? So 95% of the different components which are there in the laptop, right? We have in-house capability to repair them. And that really distinguishes us, right? So for us, it is not about, you know, like we get something and my keyboard is not working. I get a new one and I just uh, like replace it, right? Or even the batteries. Uh, we are building capability to do refurbishing of the batteries in-house, right? So these we call as a level three like engineering, right? So once these are done, then we have surface treatment in-house, right? So we are different kind of aesthetics, right? Be it from, you know, like the paint and like other like uh, technologies, whatever we use, right? To give it a look of as good as new, right? So it goes through level three engineering, goes through the le level two engineering, then painting, right? And then of course, like packaging, dispatch, so on and so forth, right? Okay. Uh, and so we are now like 350 plus uh, strong folks, right? Uh, based out of uh, Bangalore. The whole team is uh, based out of Bangalore, right? Uh, uh, in terms of operations, we cater pan India, right? So, yeah, and I think that is there in the DRHP also. So, I think we pretty much have like I think catered to more than twenty thousand plus pin codes, right? Because any which way we are like e-commerce uh, centric, right? Uh, and of course, we give warranty on the, our product. So we are able to provide customer service also uh, across uh, this particular like, across the uh, pan India as such. Okay, right. You know? So that's in terms of like the uh, operations uh, uh, that uh, we do, right? Uh, in as you said, like I think in terms of numbers, I think you guys guys would have anyway seen, right? So I think uh, we have been like uh, able to see like pretty significant strong growth. I think the momentum still continues uh, for us, right? I think uh, future wise, I think yes. I mean, 
there's a huge i mean they're they like order so they're like school colleges we are discussing right they're so eager to tie up with us right there are ngos who want to like uh like you know like tie up so i think there's a huge appetite as a market as such right uh, for these kind of a product and they are always looking for a reliable product right i think you know, uh, what are our like you know like the key goals or like the future you know like the vision as such right i think first uh, goal is definitely is to create a brand right in the refurbished category right and that is not you know like to uh, like for us to feel great about right but I think it's like a brand creation is important more from the category creation perspective, right? Right. Because unless we like someone has to take that burden, right? And create that awareness in the market, right? So, of course, the goal is that we want to be in the next like shelf in Chroma against like the new one, right? So that like we because basically the idea is how we make refurbish mainstream, right? And of course, I mean, there's like a lot of like, you know, there's an environmental aspect to all of these things also, right? So we help significantly in terms of EVs. So why we do, for example, you know, the repair of the components, right? Of course, it adds to our bottom line very, very significantly. But more importantly, our philosophy is repair So where are we contributing in terms of EVs reduction, right? So let's try to salvage whatever we can so that eventually, you know, like we uh, reduce the overall net EVs generation that actually uh, happens, right? And I think even with whatever e-waste we are generating, we have like uh, worked out like a lot of like very interesting ideas, right? So we make this, uh, you know, like pots out of the e-waste that gets generated, right? Or we have rather actually partnered with one of like the very close friend who is doing that for us, right? So the whole idea is, I mean, how do we, like, of course, we want to be like carbon positive as such, right? So, and make sure that we have a zero landfill policy, right? So those are also like a very, very important like benchmarks uh, for us uh, as such. Uh, so yes, I mean, that's uh, uh, like to broadly like summarize the story, right? I mean, the vision uh, remains like, yes, I mean, we first want to like create a brand, create that uh, in one, like, so that the first goal is like make the refurbished electronics mainstream, right? Uh, and for that, of course, I mean, that's also one of the key, you know, like goals of the IPO, right? So like we will definitely... So far, like, you know, like, so out of the 350 folks we had, right, uh, I have, like, two people sales team. You know? so, so, so there's, like, zero spend on sales or marketing. But, of course, I mean, Abhi, we want to, like, you know, like, reach out to people. So it is going, will we continue to be, like, an online first model? But find avenues where you can give customer a touch and feel experience and uh, to be able to build that faith, you know. Uh, second, of course, I think, see, this is a, uh, global opportunity, right? So that's where like the yeah. things will eventually fall down to, right? Yeah. So, uh, and th that's like a very big like market per se, right? Uh, so I mean, I don't take uh, any of these as like you know like a, a future uh, like what, but I'm just giving more of a generic statements, right? Right. Uh, but it, I think in terms of the like, landscape, it's like a global opportunity where a lot of these assets gets you know like uh, discarded in the developed nations, right? And most of the needs are coming from the developing nations, right? So on one hand, you are able to reduce the e-waste. On the other hand, I mean, maybe, I mean, in Google, you know, like we had the goal to get the next billion online, right? Maybe we can contribute to that in some like uh, some small way as such. Right? So there's a huge opportunity in Africa and other places. Okay. Sorry, I'll stop here. I would, right, I mean, let you guys like ask like... Uh, if you, there's something you guys would like to know, actually. Sir, I have a very basic question. Sir, uh -huh. on average, what discount do we give versus new purchases? And also, uh -huh. what's the life uh, span of the refurbished product versus the, if it was a new uh -huh. Good. Right. So, see, uh, uh, actually, it will be a bit unfair to do a price to price comparison, right? Because usually our models will be two to three generations lower than the, let's say, right now, i5 12 is going in the market, right? So we are selling i5 9, 10, right? But uh, see, I, we are able to give an i5 machine at a price point of, let's say, 25 to 28,000 rupees. Whereas if you go for a new one, none of the models are lower than uh, 50,000, right? Okay. Uh, so I would say you can benchmark it around 35 to 40% as compared to new. Okay, right? Uh, with a caveat that it need not necessarily be an, uh, like, a, like a apple to apple comparison. That's one, right? Another key thing that I just want to add, there's a nuance to it, right? Uh, because we purchase it from the corporates, right? 
most of the models that we sell are the commercial grade ones, right? What yeah. does that mean is three years back, they were sold to the corporate for 1.25 or 1.3 lakhs, right? So there's a difference. So for example, you know, like Dell has a latitude, which we get in the like the offices, whereas the, for Inspirion is for the retail, right? Uh, okay. So in terms of quality and performance, even yeah. after three years, they are giving much better, right? Okay. And in a way, this leads to your next question, right? The life, right? Because we deal in the like uh, commercial uh, grade this, right? Uh, they have very, uh, like very, uh, I, I would say easily three to four years of life is still in that, right? Actually, I mean, I'll be very honest to you, even as of today, we are able to, we are selling things which were made in 2011 and 12. Okay. Oh. So there's a demand for that all. And mm -hmm. I know, so oh. the problem is in terms of performance, right? I mean, it will not suit your requirement. I mean, these will be, you know, I5 second generations and third generations, right? But there are like schools, right, who want to run basic classes and stuff like that. So it will not fail. That's the thing. Because we will make sure it will not fail, right? But that's a huge market in itself. Yeah. Absolutely. That's a very so, large market. Yeah. yeah. That's a huge market, right? So yeah. I mean, I, uh, again, I mean, please don't quote specifics, right? So, but we are like dealing with one of them, and we are providing Chromebooks to them, right? They asked us benchmark it against tablet. I said no issue. We'll benchmark it against a tablet, right? And but what a student can learn in a tablet when we can give them a laptop, right? I mean, at the end of the day, digital literacy will only come when you have such access, right? So we are giving a sub ten thousand, you know, to them, right? So oh. right. So some of those things are for internal consumption, right? I might add it if you add it in let's say. But yes, I mean life you can say three to four years, right? That's the reason. I mean, the questions you ask, right? Every customer has in their mind, right? And that's the reason we say ki, bhaiya, we are giving you a hundred lifetime buyback guarantee. Okay. So, right. Because I have confidence in my product. That you come to me and give me a buy for 5 years, 6 years, I Right. Of course, we apply our depreciation chart. We are also in business here. But that psychological, uh, you know, like that assurance, right. Uh, right. Uh, if you are there, ki, first of all, you are getting one year warranty. You are getting a lifetime buyback guarantee, right? So, if you have a we will buy it back from you, right? And we are able to do that because we know we can, like, uh, sorry, I am just like, uh, sorry, go on. Next, uh, any question? Uh, sir, on a macro hmm. level, what is the hmm. addressable market for the, re the refurbishable market? I just wanted hmm. to understand because the Indian hmm. consumer is very wary of buying second hand electronics. I know. The perception in theory. mind is that second hand uh -huh. So uh -huh. say building a brand is one thing. Giving uh -huh. warranty is one thing. But what uh -huh. is something different we will be able to do to cater to that market? Uh -huh. Correct. Uh, okay. Can I share screen? Sure. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. I, I think my head, I listen, I think it's a very big market because to be honest, when I was starting up, right, I thought of exactly uh -huh. this opportunity. कि I am on Amazon website, right? So, sure. there's not like some numbers I'm quoting you. Right? Right. Uh, so, renewed uh, desktops, or actually, you can just go to desktops, okay? So, when we started, you know, I mean, I'm just sharing my experience with you. When we started, in we were we were thinking, you know, if in the top 50 desktops, and Amazon, you would agree, right? It's a big, large market size. I mean, no one yeah. can like, argue that part, right? We thought if in the top 50 of the best sellers in Amazon, if we reach, right? Uh, if you have one product, right, that's like will be like great for us. Correct, right? I want to show you one thing. Okay. So we are in the Amazon best sellers. Okay. I'll go to the desktops. Okay. You can see the screen, right? Correct. Right. Yeah, okay. yeah we can again. Right. Uh, see the first product. Right. Yeah. Number one is refurbish Asus Chromebooks. Okay. So refurbish right. is basically, you know what refurbish is. Right, 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 right. right. Second one is also that Lenovo renewed. Renewed and they basically they beach when they made the name renew now they are making it uh refurbished so some of them have right so your first product is renewed second product is renewed third product is renewed fourth product is renewed fifth product is renewed your sixth product these are the best sellers 
Okay, right. I mean, I am on Amazon, Amazon Rain. Correct, right? So I'm just uh, like trying to answer your question that is there a market, right? Six product is not renewed. Seventh product is renewed. Eighth product is renewed. Ninth product is renewed. Then comes the HP's first, right? Okay. Then again, your 11th. So, right? 90. So we thought if we will be one among the top 50, that will be great for us. Today, in the desktop side, right? Uh, among the top 10, 90% is renewed. Okay, right? I will just open this one, Asus Chromebox. This is our best seller, actually. Right? So you can see, like, we are the ones who are selling this, okay? right? You can see the name, right? New yes. yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You can see. Wow. Yeah, right? So the number one best sellers in mini PC, right? So yes, I mean, I'll come back to your question. So I'll, now I'll come to the exact numbers, right? So there are two, three ways to look at like how big the market size is, right? So uh, one is like how much of the, you know, like the, uh, the one way of doing the market sizing is from the supply side, right? So whatever the new gets sold today, right? Assume three to four years, it will come back in the market, right? So right now it's a 14 million, like Indian IT market size is 14 million for the new, correct? Uh, 14 million units, right? Overall, right? And you can, I think, so we, I, I can share the deck or whatever it is. I basically, Mota Mota ye hai ki the market size in next three years is 24,000 crores. Okay, right? Uh, total market size is 24,000 crores, right? Right now, I think the market size is around 15 to 16,000, right? Okay. Uh, people ask me, what is your addressable market size, right? I mean, I think like maybe one of the engineers we were trying to like, you know, like, uh, or like uh, as a merchant banker got us in talk, right? So basically said, boss, I, I never bought a refresh, which I, I think I will never buy. I said, I'm completely fine. You are 0.1% of the market, right? And that's the only market that we are not targeting, right? So rest 99% of the India, we are more than happy to cater to that particular. So yes, I mean, what we have seen is, you know, like, uh, uh, okay, I mean, a lot of this is getting, because otherwise I would, would have shown you like the uh, my seller center, the view that I get, right? And I can show you that most of these units are out of stock, right? So what does that mean is that there's so much of a demand, right? That we are not able to uh, cater to it, right? You know? So yes, <clears throat> yeah. but I, I think the other point which you mentioned, I'll come to that, that's a very important point that Indian, I don't think it's a, uh, but it's more prevalent in the Indian market because there's a huge trust deficit, right? And uh, I don't think you have to come like, uh, right? So you can't, uh, I think you can't put the blame or criticize the customer, right? It's like they have been cheated multiple times, not like all of us, right? And yeah. it's very yes. difficult to break that barrier, right? And that's where you have to go and do things at, like at a level to win that trust. Correct. Right. Uh, so, yes, I mean, that is a big challenge, right? I mean, in terms of how do you uh, break that barrier? And that's the reason when we say we have to make it mainstream, right? For us, price point is not an issue. Correct. To make it mainstream basically means that people should have the trust and the faith in this product as they have in the uh, new ones, right? And the, how do you get those kind of a things right i mean for example if i have to like go here i am like i'm, I'm not saying it's like the best target right but like for example we have 95 percent positive feedback correct wow. right oh, wow. overall right i mean it's like 2874 ratings it's not like we have like very less ratings and stuff like that right? i will show you your google rating target, right? and this is not easy right i mean show me one used car selling guy right who can get this kind of a like feedback from the customers right so yes, we have to break that barrier, and that's the toughest challenge, right? Uh, right. So, so for example, we have a four point four rating on Google, right? Four forty six Google reviews, right? Overall, right? And and just to like you know, reemphasize the point that you made, uh, trust plays a bigger role, right? When it comes to purchase of the use, especially of the used ones, right? People have more faith on a product, right? I mean, right now we are not the face, right? Unfortunately, Amazon. And I mean, we are slowly becoming a lot of customers. We are getting directly correct, right? Enough. So, but that experiment in itself clearly said that the, we have to build, the, establish the trust in the market, right? And that's what, I mean, we are very small. We know we are as me, right? Uh, but I mean, somewhere someone has to start, right? So we'll build our brand. We'll create that awareness. We have planned a lot of things, right? In terms of experience centers, so doing things at scale, you know? Uh, but I think the fact, I the data which I showed you, Correct, enough. 
कि टॉप टेन में से नाइन डेस्कटॉप आर रिन्यूड एज ऑफ टूडे करेक्ट राइट सो द फैक्ट रिमेन दट इफ द ट्रस्ट इज देयर पीपुल विल बाई करेक्ट so there's a sufficient and more you know like manifestation of like things like uh, that right you know uh, uh, so yes i mean the fo- i think the focus is very clear yaar ki focus on quality right hai na uh, because jaise main bola na nayi car ko koi nahi check karta hai na purani car jaate hai hamare product ko i'll tell you na new product even if you have na back side mein thoda sa scratch bhi na you will not even notice it our product the moment the customer gets wo charu taraf ghuma ke usko dekhte hain fir ye dekhte hain kuch to gadbad hogi right so that's like an additional like check that you need to like always have in place right and it's it's a challenging right it's challenging right does that answer your question yeah yes, Adri- yes, yes. addressable market matlab india ka hi market 24000 crore ka hai right hai na abhi aapko rough scale dene ke liye india has a total consumption across the globe mein dekhoge to uh, 8% of the it consumption is in india correct तो बाकी ग्लोबल आप अपने आप एक्सट्रापोलेट कर लो उसको करके जितना ये 24000 करोड़ जो है यूज प्रोडक्ट्स का है यूज प्रोडक्ट्स का मार्केट से का बोल रहे हैं हां आईटी का ही केवल यूज आईटी प्रोडक्ट्स हां और उसका देखो ना एक तरीके से आप भी ऐसे कैलकुलेशन कर लो कि 14 से 15 मिलियन अपने बिक रहे हैं लैपटॉप डेस्कटॉप है ना हां एवरेज प्राइस आप उसका नहीं नए का 40000 का पकड़ो राइट है ना तो वो तो नए का मार्केट साइज है राइट है ना और वो छोड़ दो 14 मिलियन बिके करेक्ट आज की तारीख में राइट तो 3 साल बाद आप पकड़ो 14 मिलियन यूनिट्स बाहर नहीं आएंगे कम से कम थर्टी परसेंट तो आएंगे करेक्ट करेक्ट और यार दूसरा तरीका देखने का चौदह मिलियन में से सिक्सटी परसेंट कॉर्पोरेट कंजम्पन रहता है फोर्टी परसेंट रिटेल रहता है राइट और हम कॉर्पोरेट से लेते हैं कॉर्पोरेट में तीन साल के बाद आता है तो उसमें से अगर फिफ्टी परसेंट आए तो भी थर्टी परसेंट रिफर्विशिंग के लिए आएगा करेक्ट तो यू कैन लाइक वी कैन डू और मैथ दैट वे राइट तो फोर्टीन का थर्टी परसेंट इफ यू टेक करेक्ट तो नंबर ऑफ यूनिट दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इज फोर पॉइंट टू मिलियन यूनिट करेक्ट है ना तो 4.2 मिलियन यूनिट्स बोलोगे तो 42 लाख राइट हां तो 42 लाख इनटू आप अभी उसका एवरेज सेलिंग प्राइस आप उसका 10000 का भी पकड़ लो राइट राइट तो भी आपका कितना 42000 करोड़ हो गया ना ऑलमोस्ट है ना तो मैं उसका आधा ही बोल रहा हूं है ना उसका भी आधा राइट तो ये हो गया सप्लाई साइड में करेक्ट बट यू कैन हैव अ वेरी वेल अ क्वेश्चन कि इज द मार्केट हैज एन एपेटाइट फॉर सो मच ऑफ कंजम्पशन पर से करेक्ट राइट है ना now the thing is think about it that the uh, i'm just trying to give you how to like look at the market like yes. right right now the answer is yes i have shown you the data right hai na so but i mean if any if you have to think from that scale perspective right two three macroeconomic factors we have to look at first is ki india mein penetration abhi bhi uh, 13 10 se 12% hai hai na right or uh, if you look at parallels of mobiles or whatever right you get your price down by point below 15000 the penetration just sky rockets in india right hai na ab mobile dekh lo kuch dekh lo right kaha agar 10 logon ke paas 10% ke paas tha 15% ke jio aaya price drop kiya 15000 se niche ke mobile hue aaj everybody has a mobile right so the moment the prices drop after like right so that's one trigger correct second macroeconomics is that only 13% have if you compare with china it is 54% compare with your norway so mid like they are at 90 is like US is at 84, right? Na? And I think अभी तक तो India has seen enough that कि वो trend उधर ही जाएगा, right? I mean, I don't think anyone has a doubt in their mind, you know, that uh, any of the trends, you know, like because in every sector this is what is happening, correct? Right? Yeah. So India has to reach there, and you can do the maths, right? 1.2 billion में से आप target market निकाल लो, right? उसमें से कितना आपका like captive audience size है, उससे आपको भी idea मिल जाएगा, right? है ना? so that's the other way to look at like the demand side right whether there will be an appetite for so many uh, units or not right the i think even if we cater all of that i think still in 3 years we the india's overall it penetration will only reach 22% okay so the demand is always you know like uh, like uh, one of my apna uh, im calc professor used to say that you have to really work hard in a market like india to fail okay because there is a demand for everything right mm. so because it's like such a huge market right mm. so yes i mean there is a lot of like addressable market uh, trust yes trust is a big factor right ha uh, na but if you can create a brand i think we have a proof a living proof of last 3 years right look how these things are selling at amazon and i think we aisa hum ye nahi bole bhi hamare product ka because we know we are also picky packing a lot right on the amazon like the brand per se and now people have started recognizing us as a brand as such you know 
तो सो यस आई मीन इट्स अ ह्यूज मार्केट एज सच ये तो मेरे हिसाब से बहुत ही ह्यूज मार्केट है आई थिंक अभी आप अभी आप कॉर्पोरेट से सोर्स कर रहे हो आप रिटेल से भी सोर्स कर सकते हो आई थिंक वो जो आप 40% की बात कर रहे हो वो रिटेल में आपको देगा सो आई थिंक वो भी आपके पास आएगा और नीचे तो खरीदने वाले पूरे बैठे हैं मतलब 13% का नंबर अगर है तो हाँ, लोग सब आधे रेट में तो सारे खरीदेंगे आधे रेट आप वो करोगे तो आप वेफर के मार्जिन पे ले जाओगे तो आप आई थिंक यू कैन एक्चुअली मतलब इट कैन बी लाइक रियली बिग एब्सोल्युटली एब्सोल्युटली आई मीन लाइक सेलिंग हैज बी एज आई सेड ना लाइक वी हैव 350 पीपल ओनली टू सेल्स गाइस राइट तो सेल हैज नेवर बीन एन इशू फॉर अस एक्चुअली राइट so what's the split of your channel what's the split of your channel like how much is to amazon and flipkart and how much to your own portal yeah so i am uh, be uh, so yeah because i cannot give you today's number because that's a issue right and uh but you can say that uh, yeah i mean amazon had like a pretty that yeah i would not give you specific this you can say e-commerce platforms right were catering to almost 70 to 75 Uh, this is march numbers okay march right? okay march uh, okay uh, right. because i cannot share like the current numbers with you uh, okay. but that trend basically when we started it was almost 90 plus right, right. uh so right. march was this and I, i think the goal has been that we will progressively continue to uh, build uh, own you know so and uh, now numbers are uh, much better and i think they will continue to change right you know Got it's it. like you know like we started the business and like th- there's already so much of a demand right so you don't try to like you know reinvent the wheel you are not able to even right now we are not able to cater to that channel so you focus on first on production operational efficiencies and things like that but then we started diversifying right and uh, accordingly so now we are trying to prioritize other channels uh, at the cost of e-commerce so we are uh, take like get, letting ourselves go out of stock online so that we can cater to the other uh, channels first right so, got it got it and how are people discovering your own platform the, the your own website good question right so uh, right now honestly we have a very limited marketing spend but like most of it is either coming through words of mouth or like online you know like uh, we have started doing a bit of you know like uh, performance marketing and facebook marketing and stuff like that right and lot of repeat buyers are there right because uh, that also helps right lot of folks you know like uh, our amazon referrals also right So most of the people are finding us online, or are the like the repeat buyers or referrals of the uh, existing customers. Uh, we have, uh, I mean, we are not even spending like a lakh right now in terms of our monthly uh, marketing spend, right? Uh, but yes, I mean uh, that we are not doing because we are not ready. We don't have the materials, right, to supply. So boy, there's no point of opening the taps per se. Got it. Got it. And how do you plan to solve the supply side constraints? Because if it's a demand, if it's a supply constraint business, how do you plan to debottle it? Because, well, the more rate, you can solve it. Yeah, yeah. No, this is a good question. I think eventually, uh, we will have to continue to have much more meaningful and strategic relationships with the corporates, right? So, and we strongly believe because we operate end to end, right? Uh, we are able to provide a much better value propositions to the end corporates, and price not being the only, right? Because right now, if you look at so. ऐसा नहीं है कि हमने कुछ नया इजाद कर दिया राइट आई मीन दूज मार्केट हैज बीन देयर फॉर एजेस राइट आई मीन गो टू नेहरू प्लेस लैमिंगटन रोड है ना पर उसमें क्या है तो ट्रेडिशनल मेथड वाज यू हैड द कॉर्पोरेट्स यू हैड अ रीसाइकलर देन देयर वाज अ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर देन डीलर एंड देन लोकल शॉप्स एंड विदाउट वारंटी सर यूज प्रोडक्ट ऐसे ही रहेगा ले लो करके यही चेक करो दो राइट है ना एंड सो वन थिंग वॉट वी आर डूइंग इज डेफिनेटली वी आर इंटीग्रेटिंग द होल सप्लाई चेन राइट and we are directly working with the corporate so of course we will be able to provide a better uh, value in terms of monetary right but besides that i think the other like the key things that we are able to provide to the corporates is one the most they don't actually very worry too much about the value right first is the data security right because uh, that, that's a key asset for them right so we provide 100% data security traceability on the asset right because we have a erp system you can trace what is like happening with your asset right other value addition like in terms of transparency i mean if i have a automated quality report right you know exactly what is wrong how much i am paying what i am paying for right so and they would like and you know like then of course we are looking at you know like integrating these things you know uh with more of you know like the environment the corporate social responsibility so a lot of those are like i want to also get involved in things like that right so our value proposition to the corporates is uh, like much more uh, differentiated and the idea is to create those long term strategic relationships so they also realize a better value out of their system, uh, like, like uh, this right so on the supply side a yes i mean the idea is to build more strategic partnerships a with the corporates uh, b we are building partnerships uh with partners where we are able to provide complementary 
offerings right i'll again not take a name right but there's a very large you know like a uh, like a multinational right with a like a, uh, with presence in a lot of countries right uh, they are among the top three forward it logistics suppliers correct right so we, because and we are like we are good in the reverse logistics right so we are doing like a partnership uh, with them right here so that both of us are giving a complementary service you know like with that and because they already have so much of a footprint and penetrations right not only in india but globally right they open so many gates for us and for the customer is the best right i mean that's the guy who helps him get the assets manage the assets and that same partnership helps him in the whole asset life cycle management right so so they are like multiple you know like such kind of this right uh, we are definitely eventually we will be also uh, collaborating with the oems themselves right uh, because uh, they want to sell new right and they have to liquidate the old ones right so the, so yes i mean uh, so i think the central theme which remains is uh, so one thing i want to like because you talked about the retail purchase side right you know i think intentionally we build a product like a, like a supply chain in a way where we are able to purchase at bulk right and the same models right so that's what typically corporate helps us to do because of the like the scale of the economies right otherwise the amount of the r and d that we have to so if i get like 2000 of the same unit i can do the like the overall operationally it becomes much more amazing right so our overall philosophy is that uh, we will continue to either directly reach out to the corporates where we can get a meaningful quantum and we can add meaningful value to their overall supply chain or do partnerships right uh, where we are complementary in nature right and uh, use that as a scale right so or rather let me put it other way what we don't plan to do right so uh, we don't look at like building a very large you know like a purchase team with a state regional manager and put on soldiers there and like knocking on each other right so our model will always be like a uh, scaled operations right so you do strategic like with a large corporate you do partnerships they feed into you you they, like directly like you know like in uh some of i think like our like good investors they have like very uh they're already in like these kind of a businesses right so they can help us a lot right so that's the whole plan on the supply side right um i don't want to comment on the international market because uh, that's like very regulated right now uh, but i'm very hopeful that in the next one to two years right uh probably like uh it's an opportunity but the regulations will have to change right so it's an opportunity to make a global center of excellence in India, you know, for this. And the good thing is, you know, it's a very uh, uh, labor intensive, right? I mean, for a Lenovo to make one, like one person in Lenovo can make, assemble three laptops. We can only do like 0.8, right? Because of the repair and things like that. So it's good for the country. It's good for like that, right? But yeah, that's a different landscape. I don't want to comment on that. But I mean, maybe in the future, you know, the global supply chain uh, can play a significant role. But I think... In terms of India, we will continue to be focused on the corporates, OEMs, right, uh, e-commerce partners, and the other uh, partners, right, to help us uh, build. And what we strongly feel will help us to like differentiate uh, for the fact that because we have the full uh, supply chain, of course, like price. I mean, if it comes to the price war, we never get into the price war, right? So be it online or whatever it is, because that's not where we want to play, our right? But I mean, we know like we control the supply chain, we can be there, so we can, but. We can provide a lot more values to the corporate when it comes to, you know, like uh, data security, traceability, sustainability, right? Cor corporate social responsibility, transparency, right? And those are the things that will help us to build a much more long-term uh, sustainable relationships with them. So that's, that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. Nice uh, understood. All the best to you guys. All also. the best anyway, to you. Same to you, sir. Same, same to you. Same to you. Yeah, same to you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thank you so much.